This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Squarespace questions or tasks on demand. Hi everyone, so I'm going to show you how to create a table in Squarespace. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it two ways. Uh, for the people that want to know how to create a table through HTML and code, I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm also going to show you an alternative way. Maybe uh, you have some customers that want to add tables um, to the site and they have it in maybe like a Word document. I'm going to show you how to do that, how to bring in a, HTML or a table that you've built in Word, how to convert it into HTML, and all you have to do is paste the code right into your Squarespace. So the first way I'm going to show you is how to build a table uh, in HTML. So first what we're going to do, we're going to go onto our page our, and design our page, and we're going to add a code block. Oops, I cannot think. Let's get rid of that. All right. All right, so first we're going to add the code block. All right, so this is the basis of the table. First, what we're going to do is we're going to close our table um, in a div. So pretty much it just it makes a block for our table in the coding so it's easily accessible and easily styled. So what we're going to do is going to write div, div, and then we're going to do style, equal sign, quotation mark, and then we're going to do overflow, hyphen, x, colon, auto, semicolon, close your quotations, and then also close the div, and it will create an ending div for you. So what this does is it makes your table responsive when you go left to right. So that's kind of a nice feature. Now we're going to create the table. We're going to do table, and we're going to add an ID first. So we're going to do ID equals, um, you can name this whatever you want. We're going to do uh, new table. Close your quotation. I'm also going to do a class for it. And this will house for our, our custom CSS that we do. Quotation, and I'm going to name it my table. And you can also add style straight to the table right from here. If you did style equals whatever you want to add to it. Maybe um, you want a width of 100%. So we could do width equals 100%. Semicolon, close your quotations, and then close the tag. And then it creates a... Uh, closing table tag as well for you. So first what we're going to do is that we're going to create our table headers first. So TH, okay, or I'm sorry, we're going to create our table rows first. So it needs to be in a row. So it's going to be table row, okay. And then in the table row, we're going to go right in between these tags. And then we're going to do TH. And I'm going to add maybe name. I'm going to add another header called H. And I'm going to add one more header called uh, occupation. Okay. All right. So those are our headers. We're going to add um, another table row. And this is where we're going to house our table data. So we're going to do table data. First one's going to be Sarah. Add another table data. She's going to be 23. And I'm going to add one more. And she's going to be a dentist. Awesome. So what you can do is that you can pretty much paste this code. Copy and paste this. If you want to add another layer like this. And we could just change the names in here. We could do Steve, maybe 34, and use a mechanic. Okay, so that is how you create a table. Um, and also, if you wanted to add style to this table, 
all you need to do is go up to the top and add style text like this, and then you would add your style. So if you did it by the class, um, it would be my table, and then it would be a curly bracket, and then you'd add your style. So maybe it's a, a border, one pick solid uh, black border. We can also add styling to the table headers. So it'd be your class, which is by a period, and then the ID, this right here, would be with a hashtag, okay? So classes are with a period, and IDs are with a hashtag. So my table, um, TH for the headers, curly bracket, I'm going to do a color red, close the curly bracket. Oh, and I forgot to close this. Don't forget to close your curly brackets. There you go. All right, and maybe I want to style the table rows as well. All right, so that is how you create a table through HTML and how you style a table. Now, what about if you don't want to do that? Maybe you just want to... Um, add, like I said, from Word, you have a table built already and you want to add it straight to Squarespace without having to deal with all this coding. Well, I already have a table here that I've created. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go to, and I'll include this link in the bottom as well, as well as some um, typical stylings for a table if you want to use that on your custom HTML table. So what you're going to go to is you're going to go to Word to cleanhtml.com, okay? And I'm going to clean this so you can see it in action. So all you need to do is you need to go to your Word file. You need to copy the data that you have, like so. Copy. And all you have to do is paste it right into here and then go convert to clean HTML. All right, so that's what all the code looks like. And there's some other options. If we do start again, you'll see um, you can remove empty paragraphs. You can convert bold tags to strong tags and italic tags to EM tags. So this is the new functionality in HTML5. Um, you can also replace non-ASCII to HTML entities. So this is um, encoding, the type of encoding that's in the word. Uh, you can also replace quotes with the equivalents. Uh, you can also indent with tabs, not spaces. And you can replace non-breaking spaces with ordinary spaces. So there's a few options there. Uh, so if you convert this, all right, and then you can also preview it to see what it's going to look like in Squarespace. So we're going to copy this HTML to our clipboard. And now we're going to go to our Squarespace. And we are going to go down and add another block code. And all you need to do is paste this guy right in here and apply. And there's our table. All right, so there's two different ways you can create tables in Squarespace, whether if you want to create it through HTML or you want to create it in a Word document first and then convert it to HTML so you can simply paste the code right into your Squarespace. Hope that helps and have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Squarespace question now. AskQuesty.com.